What up, everybody? It's your boy Ricky Rick, and your boy Ricky Rick is back with another Ricky Talk. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my restroom. One of my favorite places to film is in my restroom. As you can tell, for those who follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, or Twitter, you might have seen this background many, many times on my videos. The reason why is because I get a lot of good lighting, there's a lot of space, and I just like being a character. I like being who I am. And speaking about liking who I am, this is what this video is about. This video is talking about how did I shape myself to be the guy that I am, you know? You know, back when it all started when I was a young kid, when I was a young boy, I always knew the type of guy that I wanted to be. I always knew the type of guy that I wanted to become. I always knew the kind of man I could see myself becoming. You know, back when I was a kid, back when I was leaving my house to the school bus stop or walking from school to my house, I had a lot I had a lot of time to talk. I had a lot of time to to think. I had a lot of time to talk among myself, you know, like I remember like I'll be walking down the street and I'll just be thinking, thinking. You know, I had my headphones on. I'll be playing my favorite song, probably listening to Eminem back when he was in his prime. You know, just listening to my favorite songs and just thinking about life in general. I would always think about life. I would always have many thoughts about life, you know? Thoughts about me, thoughts about me and my family, thoughts about me and the future girlfriend that I would have. Because I knew I would have a girlfriend one day, you know? I, I always knew that I was gonna have a girlfriend. I just kind of would think about like, what kind of girl would she be? Like, how would we be as a couple? How would I be as a man in a relationship? You know, because growing up, like I said, I always knew the kind of guy that I wanted to be. I always knew that I wanted to be different from other fellas, other guys. You know, because I know there's players out there. You know, there's player guys. There's player girls. There's guys that cheat. There's girls that cheat. There's guys that do drugs. There's girls that do drugs. You know, I always, like, thought about, you know, I know that's going to be out there in this world but i always told myself i'm not gonna have whatever is around me have an impact on my life never let anything that's around me affect me you know i always knew that and this was before social media i had no idea that a thing called myspace would take over the world the internet would take over the world facebook would take over the world instagram snapchat TikTok, you name it Whatever it is, I didn't know. I didn't even think the possibility of having dating apps, you know? But somebody did, and somebody has brought it into our world. I never thought about, like, oh, you know what? One day, I'm going to become a YouTuber. I'm going to pick up a phone, pick up a camera, and start recording videos and talk about my personal opinions. And you know what? People are going to subscribe, and people are going to tune in because people can relate to what I have to say. Never thought about that. Never thought about it. I just did it, you know? You know, back in the day when I used to drink coffee, my mom would make it so hot that I would always burn my mouth. So I would tell my mom, I was like, my mom wouldn't even, I wouldn't even tell my mom. I'll just grab ice, like three or four um, ice cubes of ice and put it in my cup. And my mom would always tell me, mijo, el café se toma caliente, no se toma frío. I don't know, mom, but you make it so hot, I always burn my tongue. So now we have McDonald's, we have a thing called Starbucks, you know, iced coffees. I'm like... I could have been rich right now. Something as simple as that. Nobody thought about it. But I did. But somebody thought business. Somebody thought bigger than I did. And turned it into a big company. You know? Um, and that's okay. You know, sometimes I come up with ideas and I say things. And I'm just like, you know, I'm always thinking. I'm always thinking. Because I'm, I like to think. I like to think and I like to do. And I like to, you know, you know talk. You know, a lot of people can talk. A lot of people will talk. And, you know, sometimes I check out these other YouTube channels, check out what other people have to say, check out what my friends have to say. And some of these people just sound, not to be rude, but you sound dumb. You sound stupid. You sound like you, you want to sound like you are mature and you have this vision or these ideas of how life is. And But you're just dumb. I'm just sorry. Sometimes I'll be at work working with my coworkers and I'm just like, oh, you go to college? And then they do something stupid. I'm just like, you know, but anyways, enough of that. I don't want to be negative. Um, 
I'm sitting on my toilet right now. Don't worry, the toilet, everything's down. So it's toilet talk. <laughs> I was warned to say that. It's Ricky talk, toilet talk, you know. So I said I wanted to talk about how did I shape up to be the guy, kind of guy that I am today. You know, your boy Ricky Rick, uh, when it came to uh, watching TV, I had a lot of role models. I had a lot of people that I looked up to and I saw a little bit of myself in. Guys like Jim Carrey, you know, Jim Carrey right now who came out with the, the movie The Sonic, you know, he's doing really good in theaters right now. Right now, I've been watching his interviews on YouTube and I'm happy for the guy. I'm happy to see him smile. I'm happy to see him be Jim Carrey, doing what Jim Carrey does best, being an actor, an expressive actor, being funny, you know, especially like he went through a rough time, a rough patch when he let his beard grow, uh, his wife passed away, and he kind of lost the love for acting and being funny. So I'm glad to see him back in that. So I grew up watching Jim Carrey, uh, Liar Liar, The Grinch, uh, Bruce Almighty, Yes Man, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, for some of you guys, The Cable Guy, you know? I just loved his acting, I loved his performance. I loved the fact that he wasn't afraid to be himself and he, was very artistic. Another person who's no longer with us, but I admire very much, Robin Williams. Robin Williams was amazing, an incredible actor, a funny actor, a funny comedian. You know, when I think of Robin Williams, I always think about Mrs. Doubtfire. You know, the way that he did that movie was so him. The other day, you know, I was tuning into Disney Plus and I put on Aladdin. Aladdin I don't care what people have to say. If you're saying the live action is better than the animated version, you are wrong. If you're saying that Will Smith's Aladdin's version is better than the war of Robin Williams, you are wrong. I'm sorry. You are wrong. You're wrong. Take the hit, man. Just take the L. Just take the L and go home. You know? Um, Guys like Tim Allen, Tool Time, Toy Story, you know? Buzz Lightyear, you know? Woody, you know, uh, the Santa Claus, you know, Tim Allen has done so much, you know, so many great movies. Martin Lawrence, another guy who I admire a lot. He did. He had this big show called Martin, Bad Boys, Big Mama's House, uh, Blue Street. Just some of the movies that come to mind when I think of these great actors, funny comedians, but still, you know. Having, like, I don't know, good personalities, good personas, you know, good vibes. Uh, Will Smith, you know, I just brought him up that he wasn't that good. and now, But he did his own spin on it. He did his own take on it. And I'm not hating on Will Smith. I'm just saying, when you grew up, you know, when you grow up watching a show and you have, like, you're into the show, you get into a show, you love the actors, you love the writing, you love it. You love everything. You know, every show that, let's say, your favorite show right now, you wouldn't want... To change it you don't want somebody else to play the person who you grow to like and love in that role you know because now it's different it's no longer the same thing it's no longer the same feeling you know so that's how it is for me you know will smith's a great actor like for example like i love the fresh prince of bel-air a lot of us would love to be our own versions of the fresh prince of bel-air of our own story our own neighborhood on our own tv show but there's only one Fresh Prince, and Will Smith will always be that. I'm, I'm sorry. You can add another person. You know, sometimes these rappers, they have this uh, love for the shows, and they do their own spin on it in videos, and you watch them, and you're like, sometimes they do it, all right, all right, you killed it, you nailed it, and other times you're just like, nah, man, you should have never touched it, you know? Like right now, just the other day, Drake dropped a new song. I think it's called, I forgot what it's called. Drake dropped two songs. One's a freestyle, Chicago, and the other one's Win. Whenever something, I don't know. But he has the Jay-Z uh, sample of Cry Song. And it's just like, bro, I know, I know. I know you want to do something with it or like pay your respects to Jay-Z, but don't touch it, man. Jay-Z, he did his take on it, and that's the right and only one that should be played with that version, you know? Um, and then, shout out. No shout out, a shout out Drake, man. You had all this time to drop a song and you pick 
the day after Bad Bunny drops his album. That's right. What up, Bad Bunny? Oh, yeah, mommy. New Bad Bunny album is out now. Um, yeah. Anyways, shaping up, you know, these role models that I had growing up. Jim Carrey, Robin Williams, Tim Allen, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith. When it came to basketball, you already know. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was my idol. All these people that I'm naming are all my idols. People I grew up watching, people that I grew up admiring, and it kind of shaped me to be the person I am. Like, the way I do my videos, the way I try to be funny, you know, but I do it my own spin on it. My own Ricky swag, you know? And it's people like them that gave me the the courage to want to be myself. You know, sometimes I, I talked about it a couple of times that I want to bring characters because I feel like, sometimes I feel like I could be an actor. And sometimes I do it in my personal life. Like, the other day, one of my coworkers, like, kind of, like, put his hand on me. I'm like, hey, don't touch me, fool. Don't ever put your hands on me unless you want to fight. You know, but I didn't say any of those words. But everybody who watched me, everybody who was there, believed that I was being serious. And I just went back to my day. I was just doing my thing. And I was just, like, forgot to tell these people that I was playing around. But I'm a good actor, you know? And I don't know. It's like the shows that I watch, the people who I admire, the people who I surround myself. You know, like another person that I forgot to mention. But the video's not over, so I didn't forget. <sighs> Probably the biggest role model that I had in my personal life has been my father. My father. My father has been such a huge role model in my life. You know, the way he is as a father, the way he loves my mom, the way he is as a dad. Um, you know, the way he, you know, taught me how to be a man, raised me to be a man, uh, the importance of being on time, the importance of school, uh, having respect for women. Um, I can never repay that, you know? I always see, like, all these shows, movies, or, you know, just people in general who don't have their parents in their lives, and I'm lucky to have both of them, and they're two very good parents you know probably the greatest parents to ever live and i am blessed to have both of them and i don't know i just like thought i'd make this video to help others you know who are having a hard time uh finding themselves you know like sometimes if you don't have a role model and you need one you know it's okay to look at actors. It's okay, it's okay to look at certain music. Like, for me, like, sometimes when I go to the movies, I pay attention to a certain actor. Denzel Washington, you know, the way he would act, me growing up and watching his movies and the way he would deliver a great performance, another astounding performance after another because that's the thing that he loved and he was passionate about it and he kept working at it. Kobe, the way he would work to be the best, the greatest basketball player, the greatest Laker of all time. Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the ring as a wrestler, the way he is as an entertainer, to be the best, to put in that work, to put in that time, and just do it because you love it. And these guys, not only because they're the best at what they did and what they do, but also having the, the importance of knowing that they're blessed, but wanting to spread that energy and positivity with the world. And those are the type of role models that I look to, you know, not these people who are like rich and famous and they brag about it and they don't give a F, you know, but that's the kind of guy that I wanted to be. And I think it has something to do with the people I grew up admiring and my dad, my parents. So hopefully if you're a parent, if you're a brother, if you're a son, if you're a wife, um, Whoever, whoever's watching this, um, if you don't have an actor, if you don't have a role model, maybe you can listen to music because music is another thing that has helped me, like listening to other people who feel the same way or saying the same things has helped me feel like, you know, I'm not crazy. You know, I'm not crazy and there's other people who feel the same way. I just got to find those people and surround myself with those people and just remind yourself that every day is going to be okay. Every day. It could be a good day. Every day is a brand new day to start over. A fresh new start. And that's how I feel today. You know, all the actions, everything I did yesterday was how I was feeling yesterday. But today, you know, I'm a brand new me. A better version of myself. Every single day I try to be better. And I hope you guys enjoy this video.
Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if I'm not making you laugh, not making you smile, not keeping you entertained, or giving you something to think about, your boy Ricky Rick ain't doing his job. And you already know your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, guys. I love you guys. We are out. Peace.